Hi YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives and I have a very cool budget priced knife today, a folding knife from this company, Boker, Boker Magnum. Now Magnum is the uh, budget priced line by Boker and you know I have had a few uh, a few bad experiences with Bokers uh, but fortunately I'm actually very glad I picked this up, okay? When they, when they get something right, I will give them full credit. This is the Boker Magnum Peewee. Yes, and again, I don't pick the names, dude. If I did, they'd probably be different. Uh, you know, whenever I get a knife, I always think, man, should I bother saving the box? I always save the box or the container with these. I use these for little survival kits and battery organizers, so kudos on the tin. Now this is an old school knife, much like a, a case knife. It's a nail nick opener, right, and no pocket clip. Yes, but don't be scared. That's perfectly fine, right, for some uses. It comes with this lanyard here, right, and the knife itself. It is a lock back. Now this was about $24. And I actually think it's an excellent blade for that price. Let's take a look at the blade itself. Full flat ground. It's about three inches in blade length. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this for the price. See the lock back. Now this weighs about four ounces. A little heavy for a three inch blade, but still not a big deal. And you do get something for that. The reason it's it's four ounces is because of you know the metal backspacer and the amount of metal in the lockback locking mechanism, but that just makes it a very strong design, and it has no blade play either. And here is a close up of the blade. You see satin finish, as I said, full flat grind, drop point, very nice. I like that. I like that grind for this type of a knife. The thickness is uh, 0.12 inches, right? So it's it's quite thin, uh, but I do like that because for this size of knife, right? Because it'll slice right, right through. You know, it's it's kind of like a like some kitchen knives. I gotta say, the initial sharpness. Very, very good, especially for this budget price. It did not need any touching up out of the box. And I have to be honest, one reason that I was attracted to this was because I was thinking, you know, even Boker Magnum can't mess up a lock back. You know, because with a liner lock, uh, sometimes it's too early, it's too late. There's a lot of ways to mess up manufacturing a liner lock. But I figured, you know, how hard could it be for them to make a solid lockback? And I was correct. This is rock solid. This is a rock solid mechanism and lockup. Now the pivot there, it is a Torx. Right? It's a Torx pivot on that side. And you see in here, the liners are not skeletonized. You know, that's another reason for the weight. But still, it's, it's a very strong and solid construction. Okay, and a few size comparisons. This is one of the uh, other budget bokers I've reviewed, the Boker Slicer. And yes, it is um, loosely inspired by a few other knives that I can think of, but check out my Boker Slicer review. You know, they do make some good budget stuff. You just have to kind of pick and choose and sort through it. And here it is with my uh, Foliage Green Spyderco Delica. Right, and you know, this is a much more expensive knife, and I think it holds its own in the looks department. That's one reason I like it. It, it actually looks uh, as nice as some of the more expensive blades. Here it is next to the Fantoni Hide, a 200 and I think it was like $260 or something like that. But again, if you didn't know about knives, and I showed you both of these. You know, and you're not a knife collector or anything, would you be able to tell which is the $24 one and which is over $200? And here it is with my Buck 110, 
I'm showing this because this is probably one of the most famous uh, knives with a nail nick opener. You know, I just want you to see that not every knife has to have a pocket clip and a one-handed opening to be useful. Probably half of my subscribers own a buck 110. You know, some knives are just good to have in a belt pouch, right? And, you know, you have a few options with how to carry the peewee. You can carry it loose in the pocket or you can carry it in a belt pouch. And I want to point out that the choice of using a lockback mechanism and the absence of a pocket clip actually make this pretty slim. All right, so it is it is more convenient to so, as compared to some knives uh, to carry loose in the pocket. All right, but let's let's skip to the the real reasons that I got this knife because there's hundreds of knives between let's say 20 and 30 dollars. So why did I get this one? Well, number 1, the handle scales are attractive and provide a good grip. As I said, the lockback, it's a strong mechanism. It makes it more slim. I think the three inch blade length is perfect for a little everyday light utility knife. And I think the price point is perfect for something that you're not gonna be afraid to use and abuse. All right? And the final thing that made me decide on this, the grind and the blade shape. Just how thin this is and that it's a full flat grind I know from experience that my Spyderco Sharp Maker can make something like this ultra sharp and I know it takes very little time to resharpen it. So for all those reasons, that's why I chose this $24 knife as opposed to, you know, 50 others that you could get. The steel on this, it just says 440. Usually that means 440A if they don't put like A, B, or C. All right, that often means 440A. Although Boker uses 440C in so many blades, I guess it, I guess it theoretically could be C. I would be fine with either steel for this price point. You know, the 440A, that just makes it all the more easy to resharpen. And at this price, you're either gonna get OS 8 Right or one of the CR MOV steels, like Spider Co the Spyderco Tenacious uses, or you're going to get 440A. So at this price, that's perfectly on par with um, you know the competition. So it's perfectly appropriate, and it's a small knife. You know you're not going to chop down trees with it. You use it for the occasional everyday task. Okay, I hope you enjoyed seeing this blade. And as I said, when Boker, when they do something good, I will give them all the credit. And this is a, a case of exactly that. I think this is one of the, definitely one of the better budget priced blades you can get. Alright, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.